excited. I'm excited. I'm gonna play some Helion. I'm K. Um, Helion's an early access game. Very early access. Very, very early access. Um, this is not necessarily a gameplay video. This is more of a, hey, this is exactly how you do it because there's no instructions really in the game. There's a little help on screen or F1 screen for help. Um, but it doesn't list an in-depth version of the key commands and what exactly you have to do. Um, uh, with that said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start fresh. And I'm going to walk you through in order how to get set up. On a little ship, little cryopod, open it up. Uh, currently, your station is going to be completely powered down. Some things could be broke. Some things, everything could be working. Um, it is random, and the, the the amount of loot, I guess you could call them, that spawns at the beginning, is supposed to be random. And currently on dedicated servers, it seems to be a little low. So we just woke up. This is your first little crate. Um, not that bad. This is our second little crate, and these have all of our starting spare parts. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see if we can get the power system online. Um, the spare part that we need for the solar panels is working. This would be either be red or, as it is right now, um, red for not working. Don red for working. So we can go ahead and just click here. It'll open up. Hopefully we'll get some sun coverage. And let's turn our capacitors on. And currently we're getting no exposure whatsoever, so fortunately that means that we're not going to have any power. Our batteries are completely dead. Alright, so turning on the air generation. As you can see, we have two modules here that are completely red, so that means they have to be replaced as well as they tell us here. So if we come over here, you have parts. Parts right here, as well as there's some more parts inside here. Every part will have little lights on them. Lights go from green to yellow to red to no color. No color means it's completely and utterly dead. Or there's parts in here, and the ones that we're missing, they're supposed to go there. We got one yellow and two red. If I'm holding this in my hand, I can actually see the efficiency by hitting tab. So this one's at 30%. This one's at 18. So let's use that 20% or that one right here. All right, so without any power and no power in our batteries, we're not gonna have any lights or pretty much anything. Nothing's gonna work really. Um, we can click here and we can actually turn off certain, certain things that they're using power. But that's if we were on battery count. Let's go ahead and get outfitted with our suit. Um, I've put this on backwards a whole bunch of times. So let's put the suit on first. Because, hey, that actually makes a lot of sense. Um, I've grabbed the helmet first. Don't know why. But you got to have your, your suit on first. Uh, X will uh, open and close your visor. And for these cryopods, if you want, you currently have two cryopods. If you want to invite a friend, you just go over to one of them. 
unlock it and then click here and then you can bring up it brings up a friends list or people that you can invite so it's kind of buggy um there's been times where i've tried to invite people and fortunately nothing i can do will have it show up on their screen whatsoever So there is a lot of bugs, a lot of glitches, a lot of things that should work and partly work. We're going to go outside this. Um, there's two ways to do about it. You can actually just blow that door and it will vent that entire room. You can go this way, which vents the little vent here, but not the hall. Saves a little bit. A little bit of air. All right, so let's go ahead and turn our jetpack on. If I push forward and I want to stop, I need to push backwards the exact same amount, just like left and right. Um, if I hold down shift, it does stabilization and that fixes everything except for my forward momentum. I'm going to hold this down, open this, and it's going to try to throw me out with my RCS stabilization. It will work. So let's make sure we close this back. You don't close it back when you connect a module to it. It will actually vent your entire station. Don't know why. Pressing K will bring up our list. So we have all, the sun right there, obviously, which is just out of reach for solar cell uh we have our ship right there let's see where this module is we have a our ship or our station right here and there we go all right, so oxygen is very, very low. Uh, the first couple times you're gonna do this, you're gonna die. That's something. So you get the hang of basically holding down the button and counting. So you wanna go up to it. Anytime you can access something from the exterior of a module or ship, they have little blue blinking lights or clear blinking lights. From a distance, they're kind of bluish. We can open that up. We access our panel. This is basically a little, little docking HUD. So we're going to, if I hit R, it allows me to change docking ports. So I want to use the standard docking port, not the airlock docking port. And if I hold T and I scroll with my mouse wheel, it goes different ships. So we're going to make sure we have the ship for our station selected. I do wish there was a way to rename this ship, but you can't rename them right now. We're going to just go around until we can find our, our state. There it is right there. Now, if I hold down, if I hold down forward, I want to start moving very slowly. I want to let off. I just want to drift there. This RCS fuel it is not an engine. I'm currently rotating, so if I hold down shift, I'm going to stop rotating, but I do want to rotate to get the arrow in the center and the arrow at the top to move, to uh, go, because that's the orientation. So we're on the same plane. Now I'm going to go off to the left a little bit, start turning, and I'm going to... So when you're obviously with a lot of space games and a lot of docking games, this may remind you of Kerbal. So just keep remembering that there are, you know, three planes that you've got to control. Your X-axis, Y-axis, and Z-axis. So with that said, 
there's not really a point and shoot type of method. Once you are lined up on the same planes, you can just drift right into it. If I bump this going more than two meters a second, I will fling the station into an uncontrollable spin really fast away. So I try to do it at zero meters a second. I, even at this point, I might be going a little too And boom, we've just docked this module. So I hit tab to get out of there. Go ahead and close that panel. I'm almost at half oxygen, but I'm going to go ahead and try to get to my... We're going to do this all in one jetpack. Got it a tiny bit. All right, so this is the airlock of the ship. Go ahead and depressurize it so we can open it up. Currently, I'm getting about 12 frames per second. Um, not sure what's going on there. So if it seems a little framey, that's actually why. Um, the settings I'm playing on is called fast, which is the second lowest setting. I have a pretty decent rig, so I'm not exactly sure why I'm getting, why I'm not getting that. If I play on fastest, I get about 60 frames, a little over. I was kind of hoping to go up with a little quality a little bit more. Played yesterday on ultra settings and I was only getting around 10 frames. So now I'm at 30 frames. All right, so the door is closed. We're inside the airlock. Let's go ahead and repressurize it. All right, so if you look at the HUD, on my right side, I've got jetpack as well as suit power. On my left side, I've got oxygen and external pressure. Um, as you can see, because we're getting air out here, lets me know, hey, there's, going, there's air out there. So once it get, goes into the yellow, I, or goes into the white, I can uh, take my helmet off. And once this, I can open the air, or the door now, but I like to wait until it actually stops depressurizing. So that opens up and boom, flawless landing. Have fun doing that. Ninety-nine times out of one hundred, you were gonna fall flat on your face. So this is our ship. Go ahead and check the power. All right, so we got a fusion reactor. I've spawned in a ship without a fusion reactor. We're gonna open up our solar panels on this one and turn on our batteries. And we're charging. I'm actually gonna turn off my reactor. Let's save our fuel. Especially since I'm getting 97% done. We're going to go around. We're going to check all of our nodes. Make sure we have everything. Uh, this one is red and it's hardly even lit. So that's got to be replaced. We've got two green in there. All right, so this is our warp cell. Wow, we've got two dead warp cells. One to... Don't know what that is, but that's green. 
That's just a detonator. So, hey, I don't know what that is. For me, a detonator, like, that's, like, something that you don't want in there. Now, I put about a good hour... Oh, I've got three rifles. Two jetpacks. I've put a good hour in this on one time. In the ship. I didn't know that there was an elevator. So, right here is an elevator. It says door control. And this is, I guess, an airlock. Though it doesn't seem to work 100%. It doesn't seem to work at all. Um, it says pressure regulator offline. Don't know where that is. So this is our cargo hold. So we have zero drills, which is a bad, a bad thing. And in here is a whole bunch of spare parts. So we needed one of those. So let's go ahead and grab one of the green ones. That stores in our inventory now since we have a suit. To gain access to it, we just find it, put it in the center, and now we're holding it. Do we have any warp cells? So we have one warp cell, but the warp cell, this one looks dead too. So it doesn't look like we're going to be warping anywhere far. So I have not been able to successfully warp. This one doesn't even look like it's lit. Grab that, swap that out with another one. And we're heading back up. We'll snag that. Put in the new one. That should be good to go now. Alright, so let's go ahead and pilot this and dock this to our station. We sit on a seat. Alright, we actually have do several things um when you sit in your seat point at the seat not at the interface um the interface will put you in your seat but then it also will put you in a pilot mode what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our fcl device right here as you can see it's powering up i did turn off the reactor but that doesn't matter your engine's always going to be offline um, I believe we're out of fuel or something. So right here is the engine. If I did do that, it's going to say it's powering up. But then it's going to go into a cooldown phase. So you have your nav button, your dock button, your... I believe that is for your lights, for exterior lights. And then a scan button. Or if we go ahead and go into our dock, it's going to pull up another docking area so we're going to hit r for grapple system the grapple system is in the rear of the ship so with that said your camera is going to be reversed we're going to hold t and we're going to find our ship that's probably it and we're going to start moving around so we can get it So without any engines, you're in RCS fuel, so you have a very limited supply of fuel. There it is. Right there. So we're going to go ahead and start moving forward. Your camera's backwards, but your controls for the ship are not. That is a good thing to know.
So I'm going to grapple to the airlock. Um, I still have to go ex exterior in order to get to this station, but you can do it. Um, there's enough space. Um, it does make accessing the uh, interface very difficult, but you can do it. Once this is done, I'll be able to turn the ship so we can get power. Coming in a little fast. There seems to be some sideways momentum. Easy does it. Oh, 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 my camera. All right. I may have caught it in time before I bumped the station. No, because now the station is rotating. All right, so let's grab this. Oh, let's try this again. Oh, I know why. There you go. Now you got to. I got to select the right module in order for it to, to uh, come up. Uh, now you can see the little orange uh, flashing glow. That's how you know the module is selected. Hey, learn by failure. Alright, so I'm a little low, so let's come up a little bit. Ah, uh, I'm bumping the station. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to have a camera on my fingers so y'all can see my, my hands hitting 15 keys. Alright, so the issue I think is because I'm not coming straight on. Let's make sure I'm straight on this. rotating
All right, this time we, we got to have it. There we go. All right, so we're grappled. And as you can see from the rotation of the ship, yeah, the entire station is rotating in a weird oscillation mode. So we can just go ahead and hold shift. Oh, actually, go into our control menu. Hold shift. That's going to stop our rotation. Now, there's the sun, so we know the solar panels are on the top. So let's put the sun at our front. Point down a little bit. All right. I'm really getting out low frames. All right, so let's head back to the. Let's head back to the main module. Main station. Make sure we turn our visor on. And as you can see, the exterior pressure is dropping. Jet back on. So now we have an airlock at our station. So we're going to go ahead and depressurize this. Yeah, before you don't have an airlock. Uh, so if you want out of your ship, you either got to do that or you got to blow one of the hatches. Um, if you blow, you blow one of the uh, hatch doors open, you're going to lose all the air pressure in that room. Um, there is a little bit of like oxygen in tanks and stuff like that, but unfortunately, I always keep venting them. We're going to come in here. As you can see, our oxygen is going down. I need to do this. I need to pressurize this room before I suffocate inside the state. So, the first time we've been in the airlock, we haven't seen what stuff we do have. As soon as you come in here all right so we have a little locker here we almost have a full system we just don't have a helmet so we have two jetpacks and that ship right there another jetpack here and this is a different jetpack than the one that we have on the one we have is just a jetpack this is that the i one's actually a a uh, EVA and we don't have the helmet for the EVA so I believe we don't get the we can't use it if I click here 
and I click remove outfit, it puts my outfit in my hand. So they're actually the same. So the jetpacks are not. Um, get in the habit of taking all your stuff off. So if you do die, it's still there. That's barely lit, but I can get another one in a little bit. As you can see, we now have power in here. And if I come over to the oh framing. Sun coverage 97. And our batteries are actually already charged. Alright, so this took a while. Oh. Go ahead and See if I can fix the I'm on fastest. All right, so let's turn off some of this other stuff. Ready off. Let's grab our jetpack. As you can see from the little indicator, you see one thing for fuel, one thing for oxygen, and one thing for battery. So it doesn't seem like we use a lot of battery power, but battery power does do. And to do that, you just go to a charging station. There's one on this ship, as well as on the cargo hold of the actual ship. There's one there. You just put it there, and it charges. It's not a fast charge, it's a slow charge. So it takes about five minutes and it will charge it. Place your jetpack here, go to your cargo in action. Go to slot one. What you can do is you can actually just drag over. Drag over the oxygen. Come on. Now it's not working. If you alt tab the game, it will fix a lot of the glitches. Not even joking. If something's not working, alt tab and go back in the game and then it works. So now we have full uh, oxygen, full nitrogen. As you can see from the, uh, the little readout, this jetpack is good to go for our next trip. So now we're completely set up. In my mind, I should be able to fly in that ship. I should fly this entire station somewhere. I'm trying to do it yesterday. I'm gonna probably keep trying today. And uh, we'll figure out what's going on with that aspect. All right, well, that's everything for right this second. Until next time, have fun.